All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Sean here with Blue Ridge Silverhound, and uh, we got some really big news. Uh, of course, uh, some of this news was already brought to a lot of you via our uh, live coin Q&A stream last night, but we're going to go ahead and kind of deep dive a little bit more into the um, the U.S. Mints. I newest release, and I would have to say that based off of the amount of buzz and hype surrounding the these two coins um that goes all the way back yeah i was actually doing some research and uh the first moment in time in which these two coins were being talked about was november 2019 when coin world had broken an article that the um proposed 2021 morgan dollar commemorative yeah you heard that right right um that was the uh, kind of like the first chip to fall in what would be just the hype train moving for about the next 18 months. And then here we are today. We have firsthand access news to some of the information that we know of the Morgan and Peace 2021 silver dollar releases um, that are going to be upcoming. All right. So um, kind of going back to what we did know 18 months ago uh there was some talk that possibly that this coin would be uh, uh produced in gold and that was it uh that was one of the things that was talked about another thing that was talked about is that they were going to crank up and fire up the old um mint press at the carson city mint to produce some exclusive uh carson city mint mark 2021 silver dollars and um a lot of the information has changed up to this point uh due in part to a few of the things that have happened up to this point with various coin releases and they've decided to kind of like change and then the whole pandemic happened and then you know there were a lot of other factors that went into the final product coins that we're going to talk about today now I'm going to go ahead and minimize this because we're going to talk about this, this coin right here. Um, the 2021 Morgan, this was the actually one of the first, uh, first earliest leak photos from the U.S. Mint. Um, the, the set of photos, this one, the next one I'm going to show you are the earliest renditions. There are no kind of like up-to-date renditions of this coin uh where it actually looks like a coin this looks more like just a computer generation I, I like to call this uh plaster model uh if that makes sense but as you can see it looks everything like the original classic that we all know and love only the date is the same okay what i do admire about this design um that i, I didn't think that they would actually carry it over is the actual type style of the date matches exactly what you would expect from a coin that was produced in 1921 uh i mean just their faithful rendition of the uh the uh the date in itself means a lot as opposed to doing some sort of like modern look i think they they kept the type style that early classic deco art deco type of uh appearance that type style is just uh, that's the chef's kiss i'm telling you uh, I guess what, I, what I'm least kind of excited for is going to be the next coin, and uh, it's the Peace Dollar. Now, um, my worry is is that they're going to hammer the strike way too much, and it's going to look a lot less like the, the weak struck kind of Peace Dollars that we knew from back in the 20s and 30s. Um, the date looks a little funny, although the type style is the same. Um but I don't know. This is a coin that it's going to be a wait and see moment. I think once we get the more updated U.S. Mint photos on their website, I think um, I think that'll be awesome. All right. So that's just going to be a matter of time before we actually see that. Um, but really, in reality, the whole reason why you guys are here is we're going to take a look at the listings, uh, the updated listings that the U.S. Mint has posted on these particular coins on their website, all right? So, uh, good news. They have some information to give us on their website. So, it's under product schedule. We're going to go to 2021, and we have release dates as well. That's exciting. That's 
This release is just around the corner. So, uh, yeah, sa save up your money and save your patience. As we all know, the U.S. Mint website um, does not flatter anyone. So, the release, the first couple coins is set to release May 24th. This is the uh, what I consider the kickoff event. And they're going to kick it off in probably the biggest way possible. Now, I had mentioned that the uh, that there was some speculation, uh, kind of rumors going around that they were going to crank up the old mint press at the Carson City Mint. That no longer holds true. Um, for whatever reason, they're not going to do it. Instead, because of the uh, hot off the heels of the V75 Silver Eagle and Gold Eagle release, they are going to continue on with the Privy Mint Mark. All right, so or the Privy symbol or stamp or whatever you want to call it all right so as you can see there is no official images uploaded yet we probably won't see this for maybe another week or two uh, but they do they did want to get out this information uh, because the release is virtually uh, about a month and two weeks away uh, so th this is this is incredible th this is like just around the corner all right, so the first two releases, and they're going to do three. This is going to be a, a three, um, three separate release um, periods for the coins because there's six total releases, and they don't want to inundate everybody by releasing it all on one day. Oh, how nice of them, right? But anyways, we have the Morgan 2021 Silver Dollar with CC Privy Mark, and then on May 24th, the other subsequent coin is going to adorn an O mint mark. So as we know, CC's Carson City, uh, O is for New Orleans, two, uh, two, I would say, defunct mint facilities. And uh, these coins will be produced in Philadelphia, okay? So that's what we do know about these first two coins that are releasing. Now, uh, it does say silver, so I would imagine these are either going to be 90% plans, which um, they, they did away with any sort of 90% planchets. Uh, so uh, it's more more reasonable to think that these are indeed going to be triple nine fine um, produced coins. Um, just so you're aware, uh, I, I guess it's more uh, uh, efficient for them to keep triple nine fine uh, blanks, uh, you know, considering that everything else they make, even all the new like silver proof set coins are triple nine fine. All right, so the... Uh, the information that they give us is few and far between. Okay, we do know it's a, a May 24th release. Uh, we have an item number, 21XC. Uh, these will be available at 12 noon Eastern or 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then wherever you guys are at in the country, it will be in between. Uh, but, uh, yeah, CC Privy Mark. This should be exciting. I can't wait to see kind of like the first available images of this. Hopefully... The CC Privy Mark doesn't quite screw up the total design makeup uh, of a coin that should be a a true genuine uh, throwback to that 1921 coin, um, and the series overall just a popular design. You know, it, it, to some people it's love it or hate it, but I guarantee you that this one is going to be received very well because of the Carson City uh, tie-in to it. Uh, what should we expect for both the CC and New Orleans minted, or uh, I keep saying minted, they're, they're not minted there. CC and O Privy Mark coins minted at the Philadelphia Mint. I can tell you this right now. These two are probably going to be the lowest mintage availability type coins compared to the other four on the list that we're going to see here in a second. Um, speculation is going to be somewhere in that 50 to 100,000 piece range uh possible household limit of only one per uh for this particular release on the 24th um and you better believe it's going to sell out quick all right um just a just a little word word to the wise uh hit the remind me button and go ahead and put your information in there uh because once you get the information that this coin is available i think you could click on that link that's that's sent to you and it'll take you right directly into the checkout process uh, which it sure beats adding it to the bag, doing all the other stuff in there. Um, th this one should streamline the uh, the checkout process for you. I, I encourage you guys to to do that. Um, so yeah, th this one right here is going to be a lot more 
uh, limited in its availability along with the O mint mark. Again, we don't know mintage limits. That hasn't been added on there as well. Uh, that's all speculative at this point, but uh, the Privy Mint Mark coins, the CC and O, uh, <clears throat> undoubtedly is going to be low mintage pieces, if you could call 100,000 pieces low mintage. Now, as we move on to June 1st release, okay, they're going to be releasing a Denver minted coin, which will have a physical Denver Mint Mark in the exact spot that you would expect, and that's going to be, um, let's see. Right here under the wreath. And sorry, my, my mug is in the way. But uh, it'll be right here, uh, I would imagine. I, I wouldn't think they'd put it anywhere else. Uh, it just wouldn't seem right to put it anywhere else. But that is going to be where the mint mark is uh, going to be for a Denver minted example and the San Francisco mint. All right. So, uh, oh, by the way, the O Privy is 21XD. The Denver is 21XG and a 21XF. That, that is their internal uh, uh, cataloging numbers for these specific coins. Um, but we're going to have these two coins. Uh, I think these are going to be either the same mintage as the CC and O Privy Mint Mark. I, I think these are going to be a lot higher. Um, if we went back, going back to that November... Uh, November article on Coin World, they were speculating that there's going to be a max mintage of 500k for the release. Uh, that could be interpreted as 500k for the Denver, 500 for S, and then 500k for the regular Morgan Philadelphia struck coin, which will have no physical mint mark. Uh, and that one's 21XC, and that's available June 7th. So June 1st, you're going to have a Denver and San Francisco minted coin. Uh, I have a feeling that probably the household limit will be at one. Uh, and that's that's really it. And these are also both going to be silver as well. So it's looking like that, that this is going to be strictly a silver release. Um, people are talking about, well, they're going to make a clad to make it more affordable. No, it, that, that doesn't quite tie in to the heritage of the coin. It wouldn't feel right to make a clad version. Of the Morgan silver dollar, uh, or the piece, uh, for that matter, uh, and it looks it looks unlikely that there's going to be a gold release, but that might be something they'll add later. Not really sure. Um, yeah, so that's June first. So that's going to be the subsequent week. Uh, so that the it'll be these two coins, and then uh, a week later from that, if you can believe it or not, this it's crazy. That this is going to be released uh, through three weeks. Um, we have the 2021 Morgan Design Philadelphia Mint coin. Uh, and that one's 21XC. And then finally, the coin with no other variants, which is quite strange, is going to be the 2021 Peace Dollar. That's also going to be released on June 7th. That one is 21XF. Um, size wise, I would imagine that these are going to be roughly about one ounce of pure trip nine fine silver. Um, the peace dollar has no other variants. All coins will be produced at the Philadelphia mint. And I can imagine that that is going to be a very, very exclusive coin. Now let's say, let's say, you know, we can make the argument that yeah, if they did do 500 K mintage, which would be good news, it's going to give a lot of people opportunity to pick those up. It's going to be a same day sellout. All right, it, no doubt about it. I, I, I'm not, you know, blowing smoke over or up anybody's hoo-ha on this. Every single one of these coins will sell out within a day, 48 hours max, um, even at 500,000 mintage, which is going to be unprecedented because that is that is a right good size number. But as we've seen from one of the earlier uh, releases, uh, which is the... Uh, proof Silver Eagle, this one right here that released February 11th with a product limit of 300,000 pieces. These are all West Point minted coins. This is a coin, ladies and gentlemen, that never sells out the same day, but this one sold out same day with a 300,000 piece limit. And I believe household, household limit on that coin was like 10 or something. Um, so there was multiples of that one that, that was being uh, purchased up. But getting back to the uh, the Morgan and Peace Dollar, this is all of the preliminary inch information that we do know at this time. We are roughly one and a half to two months away from the pure drop 
of this coin, ladies and gentlemen. This is the biggest release in probably five years. I, I bleep you not. This is going to be one of the biggest releases, bar none. And it's, a tr it's going to usurp um, the V75. It's going to overtake the probably the... Uh, uh, the Enhanced Silver Eagle from 2019 in terms of just fervor. Now, I'm not going to say that valuation is going to match that. But because of the significance of this particular release, and it's been talked about for two years, and when it's been talked about for two years, there's going to be 10x more people, more collectors, more investors that are going to be invested in picking up some of these coins. So it's going to be just a matter of time before, uh, you know, once we get within like 14 days of release, probably more information is going to be made available. What's going to be the mintage limits? What's going to be um, the, the uh, overall genetic makeup of the coin? Is it going to be a triple nine fine? Or are they res re resorting back to the old school 90% uh, silver planchets from back in the day? It really remains to be seen. But this, this is the first bit of information released by the Mint as of yesterday that is showing up here on their website. It's exciting stuff. I wanted to let you guys know kind of like what to expect, how you can prepare yourself for the event. I plan on getting at least one of each. All right. No doubt about it. If there's multiple units that can be purchased of these, I will probably end up trying to do that as well. Like, for instance... If this is if this one here, the Denver and San Francisco minted coins and the Philly, are 500k um, uh, mintage limits, and then they decide to say, hey, you know what, household limit is two or five. I'm going to max it out. Um, you know, and that's that's what you guys should do too. If you have the ability to do that, you should do so. Um, another thing we don't know is going to be price. All right, I, I would imagine that maybe the CC and the O privy. Coins will carry a higher, uh, higher release price. Uh, I, I we were talking about it last night, and it's speculated that maybe it's gonna be between one and two hundred dollars for that release of each coin. In uh, specifically, it might be lower than that. It might be in that kind of like sweet spot, eighty to a uh, eighty to a hundred dollar uh, range. And then these ones right here, you're probably gonna be looking for you know between like sixty and eighty dollars. For the more plentiful uh, minted coins, uh, Denver, San Francisco, the Philly, the Peace Dollar is an X factor. Because there's no variance, no Denver, no San Francisco. Or hasn't that information been released yet? I don't know. Well, we will see um, momentarily. And uh, another thing to keep in mind, there's also been talk of a multi-coin set. Will that happen? Uh, because that would be a huge deal if they had a multi-coin set available of all six coins and one really cool presentation display. Uh, I would imagine that if you sent these off to NGC, they'll make a great big slab for you. It's going to be awesome. Uh, but yeah, 2021 is going to be um, historic. Not only because of this release, but we also have the new Silver Eagle reverse design coins that will be available this summer, which is going to be a huge deal. And you better believe the U.S. Mint is going to capitalize on that by issuing like exclusive releases throughout the summer and fall time, um, as you would expect. Now, I wanted to also take a little bit of time because there was a lot of negativity surrounding the um, the way the, Mint's, uh, the U.S. Mint runs their website. The, you know, just the, the companies they use, the contractors to, to build the websites and the servers and technology and all that stuff and and scalping and arbitrage i mean first of all the arbitrage opportunity on this release is going to be huge i fully endorse it because you know that's that's the world we live in e-commerce you know you buy something for 20 bucks you flip it for 100 that's the world we live in okay there's there's people that aren't quite back to work so this is how they make their living you can't ha can't hate that the first one that gets to it owns it so um you know i wanted to squash that real quick whether you agree or disagree with me i don't care um because you know the game's changed the game has changed probably five ten years ago 
uh, with the advent of e-commerce and just like it's fast forward kind of like progression in today's world. Um, these will will show up on the secondary market graded by PCGS and NGC. You're going to get your normal hucksters on this as well. So they're going to try and horn in on the uh, on everything. What I don't know is is if these coins are eligible for the uh, uh, the U.S. Mint um, con contractual program that they have for their uh, their dealers and all that stuff that that they work with. Um, because as as I had mentioned before in a previous video. Uh, pretty recently, within the last month, that uh, they have first-hand access, access to some of these coins uh, like seven to ten days before they re release to the general public. So I don't know if this one, you know, quite measures up or, or is eligible for that to those dealers and for the big spenders. But, yes, incredible. Let's see where this goes. Uh, I also want to make mention that there is a cook islands variant of this type of coin already um it's the it's actually a dual date morgan piece dollar so the piece is on one side the morgan design is on the other and i hate it <laughs> uh, the 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 Morgan side of the of the coin, uh, Morgan looks like, or or Liberty looks like, you know, she's like sniveling, like, you know. Uh, there's nothing I really like about this, and I guess, I guess Cook Islands, or I, I guess it's, I don't know if it's the Australian Mint or whatever that produces these coins for the, uh, for the Cook Islands, you know, whatever. Uh, if they got. I'm sure they got permission to do this as kind of like a tribute type coin, but this is like an official coin with an actual face value that is made out of, was it triple or nine, quad nine fine silver? I, I don't know. It's silver, no doubt about it. Uh, but yeah, they, there are some of these that are floating out there that I guess were uh, released last month or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan, uh, but, you know, we we see stuff like this, and we're probably going to see other Mickey Mouse type of stuff as well, so you guys need to be aware that, you know, uh, there is no imitating the original, um, that's for sure. And even though the U.S. Mint is doing a faithful 100-year centennial commemorative release of the coin, which I think is just awesome, it would be a... It would be a travesty if they didn't do anything at all to recognize one of the uh, storied coin releases of the early early 20th century. But I'm telling you this right now. I, I mean, you know, that would be the one to get. If, if you're going to focus all of your, your energy into trying to get a coin um, with the throwback piece and Morgan design, I mean, you know, you could do a lot worse like this. The Cook Islands. Uh, by the way, this guy has sold five, and there's three left. If you guys are wondering, it's only forty bucks. Uh, I'm not endorsing anything at all, but you know, I mean, you know, the information's right there. You guys see it. But yeah, that that's pretty crazy. So that is the first bit of information that we are coming across. Uh, you know, to kind of recap, this is what uh, conceptually the Morgan will look like with the uh, the updated date in that period correct type style. Um, and of course, you know, we, we have the, uh, the piece, the piece is going to be a, a big deal. Um, it's entirely possible that they could release something pretty jank, um, after this for the piece dollar with like, uh, something crazy, uh, like a high relief, low relief, or, you know, another privy mark version of this coin, uh, because they only have the one variant. And I, I think this one's going to sell out too. Uh, the, they're really promoting more the Morgan coin because that's more iconic and that's more, I guess, widely collected. So they're, the U.S. Mint is leveraging hev heavily in that specific design. And that's okay. You know, that that's it's all good because uh, I agree with what they're doing uh, on, on that uh, specific case. But, you know, the, more, uh, the piece will be another one to watch as well. Um, you never know. It might be a lower mintage piece. It's kind of hard to say. But that's what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, it was a pleasure having a little chat about this and doing a kind of like a formal, you know, it's like a kickoff video almost, right? It's like we're preparing 
in 45 days to see this release that's going to uh, cause some some huge waves on the secondary market and uh, through the U.S. Mid website. So I hope you guys are ready. Um, win, lose, or draw. Uh, enjoy. I, I mean, it's great to be in coins right now. It's, it's great to be a human being right now, being able to uh, have a chance you know, at getting some of these. If the mintages are reasonable... There's no reason why we all can't get any because I've I've successfully gotten a lot of these coins, uh, you know, and uh, it, it's fun. It's fun receiving the product in the mail and then coming across stuff like this. Uh, but that's going to go ahead and do it. I'm your host, Sean with Blue Ridge Silverhound. I want to thank each and every single one of you for uh, hanging in today, checking out the, the skinny on these two coins. And uh, that's going to do it. Coinaholics, we are discovering together. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what your thoughts are. This is a pretty big deal. All right, see ya.